All right, Bella Buddy. So I do a lot of videos, live shows on whatnot. And a lot of times I do not preload. I just kind of go with the flow, grab, pull, and sell. I think there's an exciting element to that. And I love that style. But I kind of want to talk about preloading as well in this video. The differences, why I think some work better than others, pros and cons basically. So that's what we're going to go over in this video. I'm also going to show you how to preload an item and some of the preloaded items that are coming to my upcoming whatnot shows. Oh my goodness, I got bling, I got vintage, I got Christmas. These shows are going to be amazing. So So we're going to talk about all of that in this video. Thanks for being here and thanks for watching and let's get started. All right, you're on your main screen. You pick your show, you hit the house, you hit the add button, and then you are going to grab your photo from your photos that are already preloaded on your phone. And then you're going to click on those and then you're going to create your category, add your title, I keep my titles very generic, usually use only one or two photos when I'm preloading for a show. And then in the description, I put pre-owned, please come to the show for a full preview of the item at the time of the auction, sold as is, or something like that. Then I cut and paste that into every description. So I just paste it, makes it real easy. I put what it is and then I always click other for metal. I add my auction starting price. You wanna make sure you're under auction and not buy it now. And then you hit publish. All right, let's do one more. Hit add, grab your photos. I'm gonna pick one here from my preloaded photos. I'm gonna grab this necklace. I did multiple pictures on this because it is a signed piece and I'm not really sure of the brand. So I wanted people to be able to look it up. I'm gonna add my title. I will then cut and paste my description. And it's basically just repeating this process over and over. I have four shows ready to go. There are 100 items in each show, and that is how you preload. We are gonna talk more about preloading versus grab and sell stay tuned for that okay so this was number 49 the earrings and this was number 50 so i have put them in a bag and they are ready for the show now these are the items that i have already done that's one through 48 so i'm just making a bag full and this will be for my show for this night this is what preloading looks like it takes a lot longer on the front end because you're preloading everything, but people can pre-bid on your items if they can't make it to your show. They can come in and make requests. So there's a lot of differences between preloading and just grabbing and selling. I'm also preparing another bling show. These are just some of the items that are gonna be coming. So stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, so preloading is something new that I'm trying to do. Typically, I am a grab and sell girl. These are my upcoming four shows that are coming soon that are preloaded. As I go over the pros and cons, I am going to show you items that I am bringing to these shows. So everything that you're going to see here are items and upcoming shows. I will link all four shows down below. If you watch this after the fact and you missed all the shows, I will be having lots of more amazing items. So stay tuned for those. So the pros of preloading, you get through more items during your show. So instead of doing a grab and sell where I may only sell 50 items in three hours, I could sell 100 items in three hours. So you can move through your items quicker because they are already there. You don't have to take pictures during your show. It speeds things up. Now, I do have videos that show you how to sell on whatnot and how to ship on whatnot. So definitely check those out. Just type Bolo Buddies whatnot into the search bar. 
Now, as you can see, I have lots and lots of beautiful items. I have made these into themed shows. So by preloading, I am doing themes. I have a bling show. I have an animal show that is gonna be all animals, reptiles, different uh, creatures, insects, all of that stuff, which you will see here. I have a Christmas show, and then I have an all vintage show. So these are more categorized into specialties that are gonna bring in different buyers. Some people love the grab and sell. They like the excitement of it. Some people want it to be organized. So you're going to grab a different buyer base depending on how you do it. As you can see, all of these items are photographed ahead of time. So it is a lot of time on the front end. Grab and sell is fun because you can do an untangling and you can just sit there and pull items and sell them as you go and you never know what treasures you're gonna find. Some people like that excitement. That is a pro of doing a grab and sell is that people may stay longer. So you just never know what your buyer is looking for. So I would say do a mixture of both styles of shows. That way you're getting and reaching different audiences. But there are definitely some pros and cons to each. One pro also is that I feel like if you're preloaded and you have really nice items, you can advertise it like I'm doing right now and more people are gonna show up and you may make more money per item. But also during the grab and sell, you may pull out a really awesome piece and make more money because you have different buyers at that show. So there's no exact way or way not to do what not. What's great about it is you can do whatever you want. But what I am learning is that me personally, I want to start mixing it up and giving you guys more of a variety. I like the themed shows, the preloading, and I'm showing you all of these items that are coming soon. So I hope you guys will come over to Whatnot and follow me. There is a link down below where you can join. Um, if you use my referral link, you're gonna get $15 to shop and you can use that with me or anyone. So right now we're going through my Christmas show and at the end, you're gonna see all of my vintage items for my vintage show, which man, oh man, I have pulled out some amazing pieces. So when I preload, I'm looking for more specialty pieces. I'm digging through, pulling out items that are in really good condition, that are ready to sell and ready to wear. If I am doing an untangling, the conditions are gonna vary. Sometimes there's gonna be broken pieces. Sometimes there's gonna be condition issues. But a lot of people also like to buy cheaper and get those items that have issues and they can fix them and make more of a profit if they are a reseller. So again, a difference is condition, ready to sell, ready to wear. What is the buyer that is coming to your show looking for? I start all of my items at $5 or less typically. On very rare occasions do I start my items higher. You have to figure out what works for you. Um, who are you trying to cater to? What is your following? You have to think about all of those things. So that's also gonna come into play when you decide if you wanna preload or if you want to just grab and sell. Uh, I have hair accessories shows, I have toy shows, I have lots and lots of different types of shows. Most of those items, I'm sorry, most of those shows are just grab and sell. These are specialty, vintage mostly, earrings, necklaces, brooches, bracelets, jewelry items, costume jewelry items, a lot of them are signed. So I'm taking the time to preload them and I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna see how it works. So you guys let me know again down in the comments if you have any tips or trip <laughs> tips or tricks that you have on whatnot. Do you prefer preloading or do you prefer the other? Uh, you're gonna see some Bakelite items. I just released a video recently on how to test for Bakelite. 
I am bringing those items to my vintage show. So I hope you guys will join me for these shows. You can bookmark them down below with the links. You can also pre-bid on items, but I will tell you items are sold as is. Most items only have one photo. So I encourage you to come to the show so you can actually see me show both sides of the item, talk about the condition, but yes, pre-bids are welcome. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. If you're thinking about selling on Whatnot, I have a referral link down below for that as well. That will tell Whatnot that I referred you and you may get accepted quicker. So definitely check out those links. And I hope you guys will bookmark my future shows. Let me know what you think about preloading versus grab and sell. And please give me your feedback. What do you guys like better? Which shows do you prefer? Let me know things that you wanna see in the future. Uh, I do a lot of jewelry, but also branching out into other categories. I had a really fantastic ephemera show that was a lot of fun and just going to be doing a lot of shows. So check me out. All right, Bolo Buddies, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know any trip. <laughs> Let me know any tricks or tips that you may have down in the comments for selling on whatnot. And always, thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.